We're down in Fermanagh today taking a look at a Birchwood 440 Challenger. She's a 44 foot flybridge boat. However, the weather is unfortunately horrendous. If you can see there, it hasn't stopped raining all day. It's windy, it's just miserable. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're not gonna get a chance to do the full proper in-depth walk around tour on this boat. So I'm gonna give you a quick sort of taster. We're gonna do a very quick preview walk through here. I'm gonna show you the boat briefly outside and give you a wee quick look at the cabin. The boat is a Birchwood 440 Challenger Flybridge Cruiser. She is, I think it's 45 foot long. It's 13 and a half foot wide. It's a beautiful big Flybridge Cruiser, perfect for um, for staying on board, using as a bit of a weekend getaway, sort of floating holiday cottage. Huge aft deck on her, nice big swim platform as well. She was built in 1998 and it has um, a pair of Volvo um, TAMD 63P engine, so they're 375 horsepower apiece, and they're good enough to push this boat on to a top speed of about 30 knots. Great performing, big boat. Um, there's only around about 700 hours on the clock, and she has had three owners from new. It's in lovely condition. This boat actually belongs, if you've had any dealings with Gulfstream Marine, you will no doubt have heard me talk about Robert, who is my main engineer he's been working with me now since we started the company in 2006 and this is robert's personal boat so there's been absolutely no problem with maintenance and upkeep he's owned it i need to check the dates but he's had the boat for around about five years i think and he's done quite a few little upgrades and improvements throughout his ownership and it's in really nice order these decks, they are due to get a bit of a clean. Again, because the weather's been so bad, we haven't been able to prepare the boat how we normally would. But they are, they've been renewed in the last year. They're all flexi -teak decks. There's great walk around side decks on this boat as well. Huge bit of space up on the side decks. New screen wraps were put on her recently. Um, new deck hatch cover there as well. She's got an electric anchor windlass obviously with foot switches as well as switches at the flybridge helm and the lower helm. Gel coats in lovely condition. It's regularly polished this boat. Um, covers were all renewed there I think a couple of years ago. Really easy access onto the side decks. One of the other things I really like about this boat is this sweeping staircase up to the flybridge. We'll not bother taking the cover off today but we'll show you this properly on the full review but lovely um, staircase given access up onto the flybridge. So with the uh, bifolding doors completely opened out you get a lovely wide entryway into the saloon, huge spacious saloon with a u-shaped couch on the starboard side and uh, a little bench facing it. Nice flat screen TV DVD player here. Boat has recently had Carpets and curtains fully renewed throughout the boat. Also new cushions to match the curtains as well. Um, this work has all been done in the last um, couple of months really. Lovely lower galley here. Great size galley. The big fridge freezer, microwave oven, nice splashbacks. Twin drainer sink. Helm station as well appointed. Lots of... Um, Navigation equipment on there, Raymarine E-Series, chart plotters, auto helm, VHF radio, nice twin white helm seat. We've got the screen wraps on again today, so it's a bit dark in here. We've got teak and holly flooring throughout the uh, the galley. Nice solid surface countertops as well. And then we've got the forward companionway, giving you access into the cabins. Our gas cabin. Uh, this boat's a two cabin boat, so we've got uh, four berths and two cabins. So we've got twin berths here, in the guest cabin, nice hanging locker, new mattress covers and carpets in here. All the uh, electrical sockets have been upgraded to chrome, brush chrome, uh, and we've got little chrome button poppers and all the door handles, all the sorry the the locker compart locker handles, all the door handles have also been upgraded to brushed chrome, so nice modern feel. Further forward, we have the day heads, nice spacious day heads. Also works as a shower compartment. All the mirrors and things have been recent, recently replaced. Full upgrade to LED lighting throughout the boat. We also have ensuite access into the guest cabin from here, which is nice. So ensuite access into the guest cabin. 
Then coming further forward, we have our master cabin with a centerline island double berth. Again, new mattress cover, new carpets and things throughout here, new curtains. Great bit of storage in this cabin, including the hanging locker over here on the starboard side. Nice big berth, plenty of storage beside the beds. Open the portholes, nice little dressing table here. And then access into our ensuite master heads compartment. It's a really spacious heads compartment with again, taking holly flooring, fully separate shower enclosure with brand new shower hardware. Again, full length mirror here, nice little sink and vanity unit, electric flush toilets throughout the boat underneath the little fiberglass seat there. Um, again, lots of LED lighting, all little chrome fittings and stuff. So beautiful en suite for the master cabin here. So a really nice spacious boat. Four berths, two cabins. You could also make an, an additional double berth in the saloon. So you're not actually crammed with sleeping accommodation, but everything's really nice and spacious and airy. So if you're interested in this uh, Birchwood 440 Challenger and you want to see the full length review, just drop me a message or send me an email or something. Let me know and I will keep you posted as soon as the full length tour goes live. We're going to come down in better weather, get all the covers off, give you a really good look around the fly bridge, the rest of the boat. We'll go through the engine bay, all the usual stuff we do on a proper in-depth tour. And we'll also take the boat out on the lake and put it through its paces underway as well. So this has just been a little preview to show you that it's coming. So if you are interested, drop me a note and I'll uh, keep you posted.